Hey guys, it's Gabe with NerdTech. I wanted to make a quick video for you just to kind of show you how we can troubleshoot the AI pronunciating things incorrectly, which happens. Uh, it's kind of simple. All we need to do is insert a section inside of our prompt. And if we're in a business or industry where we're finding it's commonly saying things wrong, we just make a section called pronunciation guide for you know whatever that may be. For this example, I'm actually gonna use uh, so, uh, an example, kind of how I worked it with my real estate business. Uh, in real estate, addresses are very hard for the AI to say. We have long numbers like this. Over here, you can see on the right-hand side, I have an example. We have abbreviations before and after. And so uh, I'm going to do a test here. We're going to listen to how this call would go before a prompt. We're going to insert uh, a prompt, how I'm advising, do another test call and see how that fixes it so you can see the before and after. So let's dive right in. Hello? Hey, it's Sammy. I was calling for Gabe. This is Gabe. Hey, Gabe. It's Sammy from House Fox Buys KC. We chatted before about a cash offer for your property at 15876 Any Boulder Terror. How's everything going? Any updates on your situation or thoughts about selling? All right. I'm ending the call there because I just wanted to quickly show you how that sounded. It said NE Boulder Terror. Um, obviously, that's not the correct way to that a, a natural human would say that address. Uh, it actually did a decent job saying the numbers. A lot of times it'll say 15,876. Um, it actually said them one at a time, which I prefer. Some people are okay with 1,000 or 15,876. Um, in in our part of the country, we don't say addresses that way. If it's a long address, we would say it one letter at a time. It did that part, but that's super inconsistent. I've, I've heard it do it uh, both ways. So uh, it's kind of a toss up. Now let's, um, I already have a pre-created prompt. I created in chat GPT. Um, I gave it some instructions on what I wanted to get out of uh, instructing the AI to do. So I'm gonna click on edit here and we're just gonna go to the bottom and we're gonna insert this prompt I had created and it's kind of a long one. I wanted to make it real detailed and I haven't even tested it yet. So this is gonna be a live test. Uh, I do the hashtags because it just helps me uh, see that this is a new section. It helps the AI understand this is a new section. So uh, right now let's just go through exactly what this says. It says when reading property addresses, be mindful of abbreviation. So it's telling it, you know, look, these are gonna be some instructions on how to say. Uh, we have some instructions here on uh, pronouncing the abbreviations. I give it some examples. We're going to do a space here, recognize the address. It's telling it how to uh, say the numbers one at a time. It's telling it to pause slightly. Uh, let's do another space there for general rules. And then it's giving it some information on if it sees any other addresses, uh, you know, how it should all kind of come together. So uh, we're going to see how this prompt works. I, I really do think it's going to work pretty decently. Um, I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do, um, sometimes I like to do dashes so it understands that this is underneath, all this is still underneath the main prompt. I don't know if that'll make a huge difference or not. So let's save this here. And we could do a lot of tests on this. There's a lot of different addresses. So if you're, if you do use this prompt and you go live with it, Depending on what part of the country you're in, you may have uh, more common abbreviations that I didn't give examples here. If it if it's not super common, it might still mess those up. And all you should have to do is just go into that prompt and add more examples so that it catches those. And it's just gonna come with trial and error. So let's put the same address back in here we just tested. And let's see how just adding this prompt is going to change the call. Hello. Hey, Sammy. I was calling for Gabe. This is Gabe. Hey Gabe, it's Sammy from House Fox Buys KC. We chatted before about a cash offer for your property at 15876 Northeast Boulder Terrace. Just checking in to see if there have been any changes or updates on your end. How's everything going? All right, and then call again. Um, so you can see it, uh, it's 100% different. It even actually slowed down on saying the numbers. I don't know if it'll consistently do that all the time, but it did uh, in the prompt, it did say it to, uh, let's see, it says deliver addresses naturally. Uh, I think, where does it say that? Pause slightly between the street number and the rest of the address uh, for natural flow. So it almost is actually doing that. I've actually had a really hard time getting the AI to slow down by prompting it. So I don't know if, if that was just a happen chance, but uh, do some testing on your own and, and let me know if that actually does work consistently. But a uh, 100% difference in saying the Southeast, it didn't say SE, 
or uh, let's see, what was it? It was uh, Northeast. It didn't say any like it did before. And it actually said Terrace and before it just said Tur. So uh, there, just a quick example, you could use this a pronunciation guideline through names. Maybe you're in a city that you're trying to say the city. Uh, I worked with a dental company one time in California. It was a very hard uh, city to pronounce, to, to pronunciate, and the AI was just getting it wrong. So we created a section like this just so it could simply say that city correctly, and that works 100% of the time. So uh, keep these guidelines, uh, use it as you need to. If you need help uh, changing this to formulate or uh, fit your specific use case, I definitely suggest using ChatGPT to help write that. It's very, very good at writing instructions and prompts for AI. So have a great week, guys.